Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Sean. In today's video, it is episode 4, part 2 of the Hasbro HasLab Sail Barge. Yeah, can you believe it? A part 2 of an episode 4? Shouldn't it be like episode 5? Well, this video is a continuation of part 4 because instead of making a 45 minute video, I figured I'd break it in half. So we have 20 minutes on one video and this will be probably 25 minutes, hopefully. But... If you haven't seen the other videos, the other episodes, go back and check those out. I will leave a link in the description and the comments of this video. And yeah, I think you'll really enjoy it if you haven't seen it. I'm having a blast. This HasLab sail barge is so cool. And yeah, it is, it's epic. If you haven't seen it, you gotta, you gotta check it out. But I thought it was only appropriate to have a special guest do the intro on this one. And we're going to have everyone's favorite monkey lizard do the intro. So, Salacious Rum, what do you say? Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going, we don't need roads. Okay, we're almost complete. But we do have the jail cell still. So you know that hammerhead wasn't locked up alone, right? He must have had some friends that him and his buddies did something wrong. So I wonder, who could we put in with Hammerhead? Ooh, I have an idea. Check this out. So what was Hammerhead up to? Was he trying to steal from Jabba the Hutt? Him and his buddies? I bet that's what happened. From the trilogy collection, Trento Duaba. Who came up with these names? I wonder if they let the actors come up with the name. Here is Feltapurn Trabog. This isn't the exact alien that was with Hammerhead, but it is the same species. Remember back in the day when Hasbro actually made cool aliens? Let's add the skeleton also. All right, let's take a look. See, that's what you get when you try to steal from Jabba. I love the skeleton at the bottom. That looks pretty cool. And it makes me wonder. I wonder if a man a man his he was a uh, Jabba's prison cleanup crew. So he would scoop up the skeleton remains, and that's why that skeleton came with that figure pack. I wonder. Let me know in the comments you think that's that's a possibility. Jabba's cleanup crew. I like it. I love it when a plan starts to come together. I think it looks really cool. I'm pretty excited. At the results, I did add another figure in there. So that figure is super cool. Check that one out. Here is another cool character, and this is Tanis Spijak, and I believe this is a female. But yeah, so I'm still a little unsure about this. So Princess Leia's stand solo looks great, and also that Salacious Crumb is pretty cool, but I kind of want to check out that two-pack with 3PO. Huh, I just don't know. So I do have the Power of the Force Leia. Let's replace this Leia with this one. How does that look? That's not too bad, right? She's still a little too buff. Not that being buff is a bad thing. But I'm not sure if I like that. Let me know in the comments. Do you think that one's pretty good? Hmm. Come on! Alright, Luke. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. I'm going to make a decision. So I want to thank you all for leaving comments on my Instagram page. Uh, Geek Strong YouTube if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, a lot of great comments. And I have to agree with every comment in there. Because yes, these definitely should be left on card and yes they should be opened and played with so i'm gonna uh 
I'm going to go with my heart because I collect carded figures and I love the vintage collection. The card backs definitely bring me back to the 70s and 80s. Seeing that amazing image from the movie, I love it. So I'm definitely going to keep R2-D2, the sail barge, the bartender or the waiter figure. I'm going to keep that one on card because that's a great card. Until I get another one, I can open that up. But as far as these two, now let me let me take a step back for a second. And you've all seen the movie Toy Story, I'm sure. And Super John, you left a comment there. And yeah, it definitely hits it right here. Because sometimes watching that movie, you feel for these characters. They don't want to be <laughs> left in a package or left hanging on a wall they want to be played with and that's the reason why I purchased these two originally because this is a great figure this salacious and 3PO is a great figure in this Leia there is no other Leia out there and the value of both of these figures is basically the same whether it's loose or carded so if you want to buy this figure loose it's basically 80 to 125 dollars and same as this Salacious is like 20 and the 3PO is, is another 20 So you're talking pretty much the same value, whether it's carded or loose. So I'm going to cut these gently and still keep the package. Just in case I want to display it later on, I can slip them back in. But for now, they're going to be left and played with just like this scene. It, it's a box. He's mint in the box. Never been opened. I'll tell you what's not fair. Spending a lifetime on a dime store shelf. I think it's time you learned the true meaning of playtime. <gasps> Look, Barbie, a big ugly man doll. Ah, you like me? Dino. <gasps> She's an artist. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna do it. So I cut the bottom of the box so I can take out the figure and still reuse the package if I want to. What I loved about figures back in the day, they came out with like a little flyer inside the packaging where you could see figures that you could purchase and vehicles. Yeah, this is super cool. I wish Hasbro would still do things like this, but unfortunately, no. Here's the mail away certificate. That's pretty cool. And I wonder if I can still mail away for a Qui-Gon and an EOP. That would be super cool if I could do that, but probably not. Here's a droid piece, and that's an R2 unit. That's pretty cool, I do collect those. But here we go. Let's take Leia out. I've been waiting to do this for quite a long time. I think it's a really awesome figure. I kind of wanted to get like a vintage collection card and repack her on it, but maybe at another time that might be an option, but for now we're gonna display her on the barge or in Jabba's palace. And this is a fantastic figure, especially because she comes with that lower half. She comes with Jabba's cup also, which is definitely a bonus. And the staff, that is pretty cool. And there she is. Fantastic. I'm so happy I finally get to open her. Let's take a closer look at her. We're going to take off the lower half. Comes off real easy. Let's check out the top half. Great detail. She's got a little chain around her neck. Check out her legs. Looks like she has some pretty decent articulation there. Great sculpt. Looks fantastic. Let's put on the seated lower half. Goes on real easy. Yeah, that looks fantastic. She's going to look great in Jabba's palace like that. I'm going to have her with the straight legs on the barge. But I love it. There's Jabba's cup. Looks fantastic. While we're at it, why don't we open up 3PO and Salacious Crumb. So I did cut the top because I do want to save the card just in case I want to display it at another time on the card and I'm fine with that. Put a little cut there, just put it right back in. But yeah, let's check out this coin. This coin looks fantastic. Let's take out 3PO first. Comes off a little tight. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Did I just break 3PO's arm? 
No, not again. It did. The peg broke. I can't believe it. Luckily, I do own another one of these 3PO's. I did purchase this years ago. So I'm happy about that. But I'm sad about the new one broken. But the real star of this show is Salacious Crumb. This is a great figure. I think this is the best version of Salacious Crumb that they've come out with, right? His tail is removable, which is thankfully I did not break that. And his arms are movable and his legs. And I think his head moves too, which is pretty cool. And check out this coin. This coin is really awesome. It's got Salacious on 3PO. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right, let's take a closer look at these two. And yeah, look at the back metal on 3PO. This figure is super cool. And look at the gimmick there. The eye comes popping out. And he's got green slime on him from Jabba the Hutt. And this Salacious, look at him. He looks fantastic. Great head sculpt. His head does move. Look at that. His arms move up and down. And his legs move a little bit. Not much movement in the tail. But look at that. You can put him right on C-3PO. That looks fantastic. I love it. So there you go. There's Leia. We have Jabba holding the cup. There's Salacious sitting there. I did use the chain from the jail cell. Also what I did was pop off Leia's head. I did remove the chain that she came with. And this fit on perfect. I love it. It looks fantastic. It's an extra long chain, which is pretty cool. So she can roam the sail barge and still be chained up. That is pretty kind of disturbing, but really cool figure. But yeah, this looks amazing. I love it. We have Boba Fett up top there. And let's show you the other figures. But this looks incredible. I love it. But I did promise that I was going to make the scene where Leia's choking out Jabba. So I do have to make a tongue for Jabba. And I'm going to do that right now. And then we'll put C-3PO on the ground with Salacious on top of him. Ripping out his eyeball. And I think that's going to be my final scene. Yeah, this thing is awesome. So let's go make Jabba's tongue. So this is going to be fun. We're going to make some custom tongues for Jabba. We're going to use this epoxy. And what you do is you mix it 50-50. And you just roll it together till it's one ball. Mix it real good. We're going to break off a piece. And we're going to just mold it into Jabba's mouth just like so. And we're going to just try to form it to what we want. We can have any style. We can do anything we want. And I think that looks pretty good like that. What do you think? After we form the tongue to our liking, we're just going to take it out and let it dry. 24 hours later. What color is Jabba's tongue? Is it brown? Is it green? I don't know, but we're going to mix both of them together, brown and green, tan and green, whatever. And we're just going to paint it and whatever comes out, comes out. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. Look at that. Not too bad, right? So you can choose any color you want, do whatever style, any you can have the tongue facing up, facing down, left, right, anything. I think this is pretty cool. And it's not permanent. If I form it in his mouth when I'm sculpting it, I can just take it out and just set it right back in. No hot glue required. That's pretty cool. I love it. So let me know in the comments what color would you choose? Would you do brown? Would you do green? I think it looks pretty cool. In what style, what would position would you have his tongue in? Would you have it facing up, down, left, right? Alright, let's take a look. Before we look at all the characters on the barge, I did load up the top of the wall with all the figures carded that are in the barge. Well, most of them. So I think that looks pretty good. I definitely need the space to put stuff. So that's a good spot to put them. And I think it looks pretty decent. But yeah, let's check out Jabba getting choked out by Leia. That looks pretty awesome. I love it. The tongue, I definitely have to work on the color. But you get the idea. You know what I'm trying to do. We have Salacious getting zapped by 
R2-D2, that is a lightning effect from the Emperor. I think that's like a Power of the Force 2 figure. We got Salacious ripping out 3PO's eye. Luckily, I had a spare. I bought that on eBay a few years ago. And, um, yeah, it looks like that joint is brittle. So, no big deal. That's a cheap figure anyway. It's probably like a $20 figure or something. And look at that. We have these guys in panic mode. We have Squidhead, Reese, Bib Fatuna. And, of course, Max Rebel is still playing on the piano, whatever. Is that like an organ or something? He's playing with his organ. <laughs> we have... Some Jawas in panic mode. Bunch of creatures back there. Love it. The chef. We have a man of man over here. But look at the character, man. Look at those hands. They're massive. So you know that's for cleaning up and picking up skeletons and just throwing people in jail. Love it. Try to get the lighting in there so you can see the guys. There you go. Looks awesome. Absolutely love it. I mean, this character is... If you ever seen the movie with Dennis Quaid, 80s movie is called Dreamscape. That's this guy, man. That definitely gives you nightmares. If you know that movie, it's nightmares. But look at that. Looks awesome. I love it. So again, this guy here, Klaatu. I don't know if that's the Klaatu that came out of that spot. I'm not sure, but that's why I'm keeping him. But that Klaatu was actually when Han Solo was talking trash to Jabba. He was right up here. You could see him in the background. He was standing right there. But yeah, pretty cool. Absolutely love it. So let me know. Would you have your sail barge set up like this? In, I'll call it panic mode. Everyone's screaming and yelling. Jabba's getting choked out. Pretty cool. Or would you just have it in relax mode? Would you just have a bunch of skiff guards and aliens just hanging out? Having a good time. I like chaos, so there you go. I love all the skiffs underneath it. I think it looks fantastic. So overall, had a blast playing with these figures, playing with the barge. Let me know in the comments, how would you set it up? Are you having the sail barge on your Holy Grail list? Are you going to ask Santa for it for Christmas? Awesome. This is what it's all about. To make Kadult. a child happy. And you know it. Let's go, and don't forget the droids Gross. Episode 4, part 2 complete Wow, what a journey Episode 1, we unboxed it Episode 2, we took a look at the sail barge up close Episode 3, we hung it up on the wall Episode 4, we put some figures in there. Part 2, we finished putting figures on. We made a custom tongue for Jabba. Wow, what a, what a journey. I had a blast. I hope you had a blast too. There are a few figures that I really would love to have on the barge. I do want to get another R2-D2 on the Vintage Collection card. I think he would be cool if I could find one and open it and put him on there. And how about that r 2 S4M figure, the other server droid would be great. And there's a few more other aliens on the barge that they did make figures for. And one of them is right here. I can't remember the name, but that's the figure right there. Yeah, so those are my three figures on my wish list that I would love to own. And come on in. Dad, you got a package. Oh, cool. Whoa. What do we have here? No way. Do I sense an episode five coming soon? <laughs> awesome. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. And remember, don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he always wanted. What happened? He lived happily ever after. Take care, everyone.